Hello, 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 and happy hump day. Hopefully, everybody is doing good out there on this wonderful Wednesday. I'm doing fine. Uh, hey, what's going on out there, y'all? See, we got a few folks coming in the room. How are things going out there, y'all? I'm doing fine. I'm just trying to keep things moving. Uh, my travel season is about to start. Got a couple of business endeavors. It's going to take me to the south. So I'll probably be in Atlanta. I'll probably be in Alabama. I'll probably be in Charleston. I'll probably be in Greensboro. Uh, so those are some of the spots I'm going to be hitting probably through the month of May to tie up other business. Uh, what's going on with y'all out there? I see we got a couple folks in the room already. Hey, what's going on? Mr. Jones, how are you? Thank you for tuning in. Hey, Miss Carol Gray, thank you so much for tuning in. You know, I appreciate you. Hey, Miss Gaither, how are you? Thank you for tuning in. Look at that picture. What's going on, Mitch Richardson? How are you? I'm doing fantastic, y'all. So what's new with Poncho? Well, outside of me getting ready to do some traveling in the month of May, I am currently working on a couple of projects here in the city. I um, It's an area here in Baltimore known as uh, Park Heights. It's an impoverished neighborhood near the Preakness, where they have the Preakness Stakes uh, race. And uh, me and another artist friend are going to be doing some murals and some upcoming, um, you know, benches and other stuff, which I'll be showing you uh, in, in the coming weeks. How you doing, Miss Ambika Sample? Yes, your package is on its way. Um, you should be seeing it probably before Friday. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for remembering to send me your information through LarryPontraBrown at gmail.com. We will talk about that a little bit more as we get into the show. Hey, that's right, y'all. So, yeah, I'm going to be doing a couple of different things. Hey, Jackie, how you doing? A hardest working woman in Baltimore City. Yeah, so that's what I got planned. I got uh, some, some, so I do a lot of community-based stuff. So every now and then I like to, it, particularly in Baltimore, I've been feeling this need to get involved with more uh, Baltimore projects. Hey, Miss Gray, thank you. I'm glad you got your package today. You know, we try to get things out in timely fashion, y'all, but I want to remind you, we are not Amazon. <laughs> Sometimes y'all go to the mailbox the day after, y'all be like, where's my stuff? I'm like, no, 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 no. I know, I know. We do a good job of getting it to you, but it ain't going to be in two days. It's not going to be in Amazon time, okay? Uh, so we thank you in advance for being patient with that kind of stuff. Hey, what's happening, Mr. Lyle? Hey, happy Wednesday. Oh, he, this is the martini, man. I don't know what y'all, what y'all drinking out there, y'all. Miss Ty Scott Jones, thank you so much for tuning in. Haven't seen you in a good little bit. What y'all drinking out there, y'all? You know, we got a good little fair amount of people in the house today. I got me a, 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 what's this? This is a sparkling apple, Izzy. And then for all my hydration folk out there that's always playing with the water, I got me a little bit of water in the clutch, too, so... What are y'all drinking out there? What's happening to Khabibi Ajanku, who did her show last week? If you get a chance to see that, go to her page and check out her show. I think some of her things are still available. So uh, what's going on, y'all? I am really trying my best to uh, get creative. I got a couple projects going on that's going to make me get creative. One is my, uh, my retrospective exhibition is already scheduled and everything. So I want to show you a little bit about that. So you guys can mark your calendars. That's right, that's right, that's right, y'all. We try to start marketing early. Mark your calendars. Go to Eventbrite right now and uh, snag you a couple of tickets. They free. You know, we're we trying to just gauge how many people are coming. 
but we got that big exhibition coming up in november and i'm looking forward to doing that so what else we got out here who's a oh this is what i'm talking about margarita's eating a brisket that's melting in his mouth see my people are you know i'm a foodie so uh i i tend to have a lot of people about uh uh, uh this on the foodie tip this this sounds a little too great for an art show doesn't it <laughs> <laughs> hey Carolyn, don't be mad, baby. If you got the answers right and folks are sleeping, take advantage. Take full advantage. No, you do not have to sit out. The only person I banished from playing the trivia question was my sister because she, she knows me better than everybody on the planet. <laughs> but I think I got a couple of trivia questions that's even good enough for her today. So hey, get your Google finger ready. Hey, what's going on, Miss Pope? Thank you so much. I appreciate that. What a nice picture. Look at that. So, yeah, that's what's up. We're going to get ready for this party Party. I'm going to go through the house for those of you that have not been here before. Just know that what I need you to do is send me your email address and your shipping address. That will help us tremendously. All right, y'all. So, here we go. Basically, y'all, you're gonna place the item number and the word sold in the comments screen to purchase, okay? So underneath the video on um, The Art of Poncho, on Larry Poncho Brown's Facebook page, uh, the, the uh, Art of Poncho Studio page, and on YouTube, you're on four locations now. So just go in the comments screen, put the item number, the word sold, send us your email address and your shipping address, so we can ship you at a PayPal invoice. And hey, that's how we do it around here. Very, very simple. We have a $15 flat rate per package. Very rarely do we have to do um, multiple packages. But if you got two different types of items, sometimes we will send them in the appropriate package because we take pride in making sure you get your products in great uh, condition. Again, if you are watching us on YouTube, Please send your selections to the artif- um, Larry Potter Brown. Dot, I mean, I'm sorry, Larry Potter Brown at gmail.com. Okay. Um, the sample usually ordered. I can see you guys where you're coming from when you go into the chat screen. So, but it's a little harder for us to track you from uh, YouTube than it is from Facebook. So, that's pretty much it, y'all. We also offer other payment methods if you decide you don't want to pay through PayPal. We'll still send you a PayPal invoice, but you can send us a cash app for that amount. So, hey, that's what's up. Wait till you get your invoice first, then you can cash app us. A lot of times y'all do it too fast, and you don't include the ship control. You don't want to have to get back to you. That's our house rules, y'all. Does anybody have any questions? As Because, you know, we're trying to make things a little bit more user-friendly around here. If you guys desire to ask me any questions, feel free. We got about 21, 22 people in the house. So I guess we're going to go ahead and get this party started, y'all. Item number one, y'all. Let's get rolling. You know how we do it around here, y'all. We start off low. We go up high. Yes. Our first item is just a nice little uh, trinkety item. This is the all-seeing eye. That's right, the all-seeing eye pin. This is also the Dinko symbol, too. That means omnipotence. Yes, yes, yes. We just do a line of pins and buttons and magnets and stickers and all this stuff, just so you can put all your paraphernalia. If you like the eye pin, measures about three inches. Nice size little pin. Just put item number one and sold. And the eye pin will be coming your way for just $3, y'all. Just $3. Hey, I'm just checking in. Hey, what's happening, Malika Muhammad? Thank you for tuning in. Uh, will you be incorporating Sizzle or Afterpay? Probably not on this show. I'm doing an original show where we may incorporate some other payment arrangements. So thank you for asking me that, and I will be checking in for that, too. Um, did you Cecil? I've never heard of Cecil. Tell me what Cecil's all about. I've heard of Zell, but let me know. That's item number one, y'all. If you like item number one, put item number one and sold, and the I pin will be coming your way for just three dollars. Item number two, you know, from time to time we put that on the screen. Buy black art. This is a major black black art 
uh, scheme for us. It's in our agenda. It's what we're hoping to be able to do is to make people begin to embrace art again. You know, it's really nice when your home is a reflection of you. And so, yeah, Pi Black Art is kind of our mom as our mantra. Uh, this little uh, sticker is called Three Inches. You can get it today on Poncho Thon number 69 for just three dollars y'all if you like that piece just put item number two and sold and that piece will be coming your way hey put that on your jetpack you know you get ready to go out and get warm outside y'all item number three this is a little magnet of a plate that i did uh called majestic majestic is the title this is just a three inch magnet for your refrigerator your the side of your uh, oxygen tank or whatever you got this metallic uh yeah we do a whole line of uh, little small items we're putting our grand bag and stuff so if you want item number three this is the majestic magnet just put item number three and fold and that magnet would be yours for just four dollars y'all that's right so yeah that's what's up with us y'all we are just trying to make it move and groove hey this is what it is see i'm getting new information and if i paying for payments is supposed to spend the summer of four mountain the same day hey i think i'm going to check in the sense thank you so much miss jones i love when you guys teach me something new uh we're going to be offering some other that'd be a real nice thing to offer especially for the original and our original first on the show. i appreciate that um how many trivia questions should i ask today y'all i don't know should i just do one? Oh well you'll know we'll figure it out i have number three in soul and the majestic magnet will be coming your way for just four dollars item number four you know sometimes our technology don't work the way it's supposed to but i ain't gonna complain because we've been doing pretty good the last couple of weeks this is item number four this is to create something journal. We've been doing really well with these. We're trying to get you guys to be stimulated and, and be creative and write your ideas down and get them out of your head and move forward on some of your visions and some of your, uh, you know, some of your aspirations because sometimes we are all, we are overthinking. This is the online version for those of you that want to draw. This is to create something journal. That's right. We put these out a couple of years ago. I will even sign this for you. Item number four and sold and you can have the journal for just ten dollars y'all that's it just ten dollars item number four if you want that piece just put item number four and sold and that piece will be coming your way a different part of the show now where i'm going to show you some open edition some open edition print i have a theme for this show y'all it's about angels and angelic forms y'all I, I don't know what got me on that tip um i have a couple of different you know black artists do a couple of different things that are kind of unique uh there's a couple of things like our uh, black clowns is one of them now i was surprised at how many black people don't like clowns <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave that one alone because you might be one of them. Uh, but I also, I did a Black Angel series. Okay, so this is one by my dad. My dad did this piece. You know, I'm a second generation artist. My dad put this piece out quite a few years ago. I did a male version of an angel. He did a female version of an angel. This piece is entitled "Come Home, My People." A very popular open edition print. Hey, y'all, you want a nice little angelic piece in your spot? This is it, item number five, keeping it in the family. This piece right here normally sells for $40. It measures 22 by 28 inches. Today you can have Come Home, My People by Larry O. Brown Sr. for just $25. If you like that piece, just put item number five and sold and Come Home, My People will be coming your way. Hey, y'all, we got a greeting from Chicago in the shot towns in the house. How you doing, Miss Brent? Thank you for tuning in. Hey, thank you, Miss Pope, too. You got that. Item number two is yours. Oh, so she said she has the original. I'm scared to ask her which original she's got. Which one do you have the original to? Hey, happy hunt day. Thank you so much, Miss Leggins. I appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in again. Hey, y'all. 
if you're looking at the show, do me a favor. Share the show with your friend. Don't keep all the goods for yourself. That's right. Place this on your page. Share it on your page. And let your friends know this is where you're hanging out for the next 45 minutes. So, hey, what's happening, Miss Gray? You have number five looks beautiful. Frank, thank you so much. Yeah, my dad, I really did a good job on that piece. Our whole show is on angels today, y'all. So you'll see quite a few angelic forms, y'all. Hey, what's going on, Miss Grant? Fantastic, Miss Grant. I appreciate that. So, yeah, that's what's up, y'all. Item number five again is come home, my people. You can have this piece today on Poncho Don number 69 for just $25. That's right, y'all. Here we go. We got another couple pieces we want to show you. Um, hey, y'all. Y'all got some good questions for me out there? I would appreciate it if you do. Put it up on the screen and we'll put it up so we can let our viewers see it. We got about 30 people in the room. So y'all just sitting tight. What are y'all eating out there, y'all? Mm. It's that hour. Y'all been home from work for a little bit now. So what are you eating out there? I know y'all eating some nice stuff. I just... You know, uh, Mr. Lyle got me all shook up over here. He's got, he's eating brisket that he said was melting in his mouth. Woo! Mm -mm -mm. What y'all drinking out there, y'all? What you got? What you eating? Parfait. You know, my group of people are so healthy. Hey, what's going on, Mr. Newberry? Thank you so much. Hey, what's going on, man? He representing Philly in the house. What y'all eating out there, y'all? Any cherubs? Well, you know, cherubs and angels and angelic forms are pretty much the same. Cherubs are usually child angels. Don't think I do. I don't have a lot of cherubs. I have to talk about that. I'll talk about that a little later. But no, I do have uh, most of my uh, angel, angelic forms are on the adults. Well, hey, that was a long time ago, Miss Brand. You got, whoo, you took me back to 2000. That's right, y'all. In traffic, I'm sorry to hear that, Jackie, but don't watch the show too much now because I don't want no accidents. Uh, Miss Grant has got pizza and Merlot. That's what I'm talking about. I need something junkified to eat today. Item number five, y'all, we're going to keep this party moving. Item number five is just $25 on Poncho Thon number 69. Item Number six. We put this out a couple of years ago, and I have a couple of them left in the warehouse. We call this the Poncho Swag Box Number One. We did two different swag boxes. And what you get, you get some note card, you get a calendar, you get some stickers, you get a pen, you get uh, 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 some postcards, all in one box. It's 11 different items, comes in one box. Normally sells for about 50 bucks. Today on Punkathon number 69, you can get uh, the swag box for just $35. Next, a great little gift for somebody that may not be familiar with us, but um, it may be a nice gift for you too because you can divide it up and give it to a couple people to create some sunshine. Item number six. If you like this piece, just put item number six in the soul in the Punk Show swag box. Number one will be yours for just $35. On Poncho Thon number 69. Like that piece. Put item number 69. So, and that'll be coming your way. Hey, y'all, where my, where my questions at out there, y'all? Where my questions out there? I know you got some good ones. Item number seven, y'all. From time to time, we show this BLMT, the Black Lives Matter T. You know, when the Black Lives Matter movement was getting pretty hard, I was trying to figure out. I did a few pieces on the subject. I didn't know what to do, but I figured the best way to do it was to just do a wearable art line with one of my pieces on it, and this is it. This is the BLMT today on Poncho Thon. It's springtime, y'all. I know it's kind of cold in some areas. It's cold here in Baltimore right now. But for us, it's springtime. I'm getting my tea. See this tea right here? This shirt is by Unities. Unities is the person... That screens all my t-shirts. Thank you. They're out in D.C. They always look out for me. Um, they sent me one with my favorite colors in it. I appreciate that. Y'all know the purple vibe going on. Item number seven, the BLMT. If you like the BLMT, sounds like I'm seeing a, B, uh, a bacon lettuce tomato, don't it? I must be hungry today, y'all. The BLMT is just $35. Hey, my mediums, my small and my medium folks out there. I know I discriminate against y'all regularly because a lot of my art shirts 
the artwork is so big that it don't they won't fit on mediums and smalls. So hey, we got medium, large, XL, 2XL, 3XL. And no, we do not charge extra on Poncho Con for the extra excess we do on the website, but not on Poncho Con. So today you can get this piece for just $35. That's right, y'all. If you like this shirt, just put item number seven and sold. And this shirt will be coming your way. We are getting ready for the big prints, y'all. Some of these prints are going to be hard to find. Uh, but, you know, that's what we do right here. We shake it up and try to give you something a little different here and there. So, here we go. Item number eight, y'all. Welcome to the Angelic Show. You know, I started doing Black Angels because, you know, when I was a kid reading Bibles and all the other books that had to do with religion, they never showed many Black angels. I was wondering about that. And certainly no uh, adult angels. Uh, you might have saw a child angel, cherub, as it was mentioned a little earlier in the show by one of our, our viewers. But um, I decided I wanted to do some angels because I like to think that uh, angels should look like us too, right? I would like to think so. So this piece right here is called The Guardian. It was actually the second of my major angel people. This piece right here, we only have two available for the show. For all of my collectors out there who are looking for snagging pieces that are a little bit harder to find, they have appreciated a little bit, this is one of those pieces. This is the Guardian. The edition size on this one is 600. And uh, the size on it is uh, 27 by 30 inches. A very nice size piece. It normally sells for $400. We only have two available for the show today. Um, today on Punchathon number 59, you can have this piece for just $200. If you like this piece, the Guardian. Yes, check them out, y'all. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, y'all. Item number eight. If you like that piece, just put item number eight and sold. And the Guardian. We only have two in the house. Will be coming your way and added to your collection. Item number eight and sold. And that piece will be coming your way. Hey, hey, Miss KY, the notorious KYB. That's right, y'all. Uh, Karen Buster says she's eating a bacon, lettuce, and tomatoes. Please. Woo! <laughs> You got the BLMT. <laughs> uh, double XL, you got it, my girl. I'm going to take care of that for you, y'all. Uh, yeah, y'all. Y'all, who? Where, where are my intelligent questions out there, y'all? I'm waiting for some intelligent questions to come on. Um, that's right. What you got for me out there, y'all? I know y'all. We got about 25 people still in the room. We're going to keep this party moving. This was the second of my Black Angel series. But what I'm getting ready to show you was the first one we did. And, uh, hey, item number nine was a piece we put out called Heaven Spent. Heaven Spent took the art world by storm. They had never seen anything remotely like this when I came out with this piece. It did very, very well. Um, this is a, a, a nice size piece, 27 by 36 inches. This print on the secondary market now sells for about $1,000, y'all. $1,000. We got two, again, on the show today. We go in the warehouse every now and then. I might go on my stash every now and then, pull a piece out here and there. This is one of those days. Item number nine is heaven sent. If you like this piece, just put item number nine and sold. And you can get heaven sent. Check this price out. It normally sells for one thousand dollars today. For all my people that's trying to find something special, item number nine is selling for just four hundred dollars. Normally one thousand dollars. There's only two on the show. First two people to respond. This piece belongs to you. It's the original offset lithograph for this piece. Item number nine and sold, and heaven sent will be coming your way 
Hey, y'all, are y'all out there suffering like I am? I'm talking all of my sinuses is just going crazy. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Carolyn Johnson said she got her. That's right. That's a special piece right there. Yeah, that's right, Mr. Lyle Marzi. How do you pronounce that? Lizzle Marzi. I know who you are out there. <laughs> that's right, y'all. This is a collectible piece. So if you get a chance to partake, make sure you do. We can already move to another section of the show where I introduce you to some of our G-Clay pieces, our small G-Clay pieces, on the same theme of this whole angelic thing. That's right, y'all. We are moving into a different part of the show. These are all G Clay pieces. Poncho, what is a G Clay? A G Clay is a French term meaning spray of ink. In the G Clay process, a stream of ink, more than 4 million drops per second, is sprayed onto archival art paper or canvas. The prints have a higher resolution than offset lithographs, and the dynamic color range is greater than spirograph. That is what a G Clay is. Um, they have been on the market probably for about maybe 25 years. Um, they were um, introduced slowly. People were very, very uh, skeptical of them when they first came out. But now, woo, can't go to a gallery now and not find them. And all artists are participating in this new technological advancement. These pieces here are all G Clay pieces on the small side for this Angel series. So here we go, y'all. Item number 10. Oh, we got a really bad photo for this one, but this one is entitled Rise. Rise. It's actually a female angel. Um, I just like the, the, the whole anti-gravity movement element of an angel. I also love doing wings of all kinds. This piece right here is called Rise. It is a clay. It normally sells for two fifty. It's a sixty-two edition. I apologize for the uh, the bad image. I'll make sure we get better on that. We very some do we have bad images in our, in our uh, presentation. So, item number ten is rise. You clay normally sells for two fifty. If you like this piece, there you can get this piece for one hundred dollars. We're doing a special angelic show today. Item number ten on sold and rise will be coming your way with this $100. Item number 11. Item number 11 is a piece called Winged Warrior. It's part of the same series. It's a whole series of male angels and a series of female angels. Uh, all of these are done in watercolor and graphite. They were actually part of the suite. But we do have quite a few of these in the left. 62 edition also. These pieces frame up really, really nice. Item number 11 is the Winged Warrior. It measures 17 by 22 inches, normally sells for $250, but today on Poncho Thon number 69, you can have this piece for just $100, y'all. That's right. That means you get two of them for a couple hundred dollars. They make great sets when you mix the males and the females, and the males and the males, and the females and the females. If you get what I'm saying, they pay off really, really nice. Item number 11 and sold. And this piece will be coming your way. Hey, y'all, what you got going on out here? Just check and see what kind of question. Hey, hey, Mr. Lau, you are, it is yours. Hey, you got to. That sounds good. Uh, anybody got any questions about any pieces? Let me know. You know, this series right here was actually birthed uh, while I was at a friend's house in Chicago. Shout out to Debbie Allen and my Chicago family. He has a whole collection of little small silver figurines of angels. And I just took a little bit of what I saw with her collection and did live versions of it. That's how these things get stuck. These things get stuck in the subconscious. And this is how it manifests. Item number 11, again, is the Winged Warrior. It's yours for just $100. Item number 12. That's right. Item number 12 is called Seraph of Serenity. Seraph of Serenity. That's right, y'all. We got a whole series of really uh, spiritual, angelic. I love it. 
there's something peaceful about an angel. I love the movement that they can create. Uh, this piece again is done. Most of the whole series is done in watercolor and graphite. So it's mixed media. Um, makes a nice piece. It's 17 by 20 inches, the whole series. Um, this is the kind of thing where it's good if you can get one or two of them. I think, if not mistaken, Mr. Marzi has like maybe, man, how many do you have, Mr. Lau? Lau must have about five or six of these in his collection. He just added one more, item number 12. Like that piece, just put down item number 12 and so it's the wrath of serenity will be coming your way for just one hundred dollars. Item number thirteen. Item number thirteen is another part of my angel series. This one is entitled "Woo Guardian of Grace." Guardian of Grace. I told you that whole series is a mixture of male and female angels. Um, really had a lot of fun doing this one. This one makes you just want to imitate what he's doing. That's right, y'all. All of these have watercolor in the background. All of these backgrounds were created by my father, Mr. Larry O. Brown. Whenever you see this loose acrylic or watercolor style, these are sheets of paper that my father left me when he passed. And I still use them at work today. It gives me a great, um, it really makes me feel close to him to create these pieces on top of this paper. So this is actually a collaborative piece. This whole series, item number 13, if you like that, just put Guardian of Grace, item number 13 in soul. You can have this piece, same thing, 62 edition, normally sells 250, 517 by 20, today on Pancho Thon, number 69, you can have this piece for just $100. This is a good time to snatch up this series because these will not be around forever. Okay, y'all, I think this is a good spot to interject. So thank you so much, Mr. Lyle. I don't know why I thought you had this one, but that's okay. We're going to keep on making that series stretch. It's nothing like having a whole collection of an artist's works. I think Mr. Lyle probably has. If not all of them, he's getting very, very, very close. All right, y'all. So this is the trivia question for today. All right, y'all. Get your Google figures ready. What am I going to ask y'all today? Hmm. Wow. Okay. I got the perfect one. This is for everybody. Jackie, you can even be included in it. This person was incarcerated the year I was born. And he was set free the year my son was born. That is my clue for today. That is my trivia question. This person was incarcerated the year that I was born and released the year that my son was born. Ah, ha, ha, ha. First person to come in. Congratulations, Mr. Grip. Mandela, Nelson Mandela. That's right. I appreciate that. That's uh, the correct name. But you know what? I don't know. I don't know, Grips. I don't know if you did it right because Miss Iona gave the whole name, Nelson Mandela, because my son's name is Mandela. You might have named my son. I'm going to have to get this one. I'm sorry, man. I'm going to have to get this one to Miss Iona because Miss Iona used the whole full name. Thank you so much. Um, Karen Buster says she beat Grip, but Grips did not put a complete answer. It is Nelson Mandela. That's right. Your winner is on the screen. Miss Iona Dances got the correct answer for this week. Jackie, uh, yeah, you you should have been a little faster on the draw with that one, but that's okay. Um, we got you covered. <laughs> they out here got the finger on the trigger. I might have to come up with another another trivia question. So here we go. I have a piece in a very famous museum. I have a piece in a very famous museum in Washington, D.C. That's all I'm going to say. You have to use the full name of the museum. I have a piece 
that was pictured in a famous museum in DC. If you can come over that answer, let me know. That's right, y'all. No, Ty Jones, you got to do better than that. You got to come up with a full name. Google fingers have to be working for this one because I'm looking for a full name. Miss Ty Scott Jones, you were so close, but I need some specific information for this particular uh, trivia question. I'll be watching the feed as I go to the next piece, item number 13. And so thank you so much, Mr. Lyle, for picking that piece up. Item number 13 in soul, and this piece, Guardian of Grace, will be coming your way. National Museum of African American History. No, that is not correct. The African American and Smithsonian. No, that is not correct. The Smithsonian African American Museum of African American Art and Life and Cultures. Very nice. I'm glad you got the whole title, but that is not correct. That's right, y'all. Look it up. Google up. Google up. Google up. That's right. That's the only way you're going to find this answer. It's deep in Google, but you can find it if you find it. Look it up properly. Item number 13 and sold. This piece, Garden of Grace, will be coming your way and to your collection. Item number 14 is another part of this angel series. This one is entitled The Messenger. That's right. Look at this. Is that not peaceful? is it doesn't have a lot of movement i love these pieces y'all i'm still waiting for the cor correct answer to my second trivia question come up the charles wright museum of art um i wasn't specific enough but miss johnson you're actually correct i can't say that that answer is incorrect it is correct it is correct but this might end up being a third trivia question because even though she has a museum that my work is in, she did not name the one that I had in mind. Keep digging, keep on hitting that Google button and you will find it. That's right, y'all. That's right. I'm gonna give you a point on that one, Miss Johnson. That's right. Item number 14 is the messenger. It's a G Clay. It measures 17 by 20 inches. It sells for $250 regularly. Today you can get this piece on Poncho Thon number 69 for just $100. All of these pieces come with certificates of authenticity. And these are all from one series of angelic pieces. So hopefully you'll partake in more than one so you can get your collection started. All right, Ms. Johnson, so far you are, you pick one museum, there is another museum. That's right. Um, Y'all must, and you know, Miss Johnson, she is like, uh, she is Miss Google. She's got, she won two weeks in a row. This would be her third week winning a trivia question. Uh, Renwick Gallery Cup, no, not quite, Miss Pope. I'm looking for something real specific. That's right, y'all. You better look it up. Better look it up. Go to Google. I can give you a clue of where to find it, but that wouldn't be fair to all of the folks out there. Because all my Google Masters got to be able to look these things up. Item number 15 is a piece we call the Gatekeeper. Now, this one I know, Mr. Miles. Uh, the right? No, you, you got that. But that's already been said by you earlier. The right, the Charles Wright Museum of American History, so far is the best answer. But it is not the answer I was looking for. Item number 15. I'm still going to count that, though, because that is still a good answer. Item number 15, y'all, is a piece called The Gatekeeper. If you like this piece on Poncho Thon number 69, you can have this piece for just $100. Look at this piece right here. It just defies gravity. I love the movement in these pieces, y'all. When you hang two or three of these up together in a room, Woo! You know you could use that kind of uh, influence in your life. Item number 15 is the gatekeeper. You only sell for 50 today. You can have it for $100 on Poncho Thon number 69. Item number 16. We are, this is still part of the same series. Did y'all give up on me? Did y'all find that other museum that my work has been featured in? That's right, y'all gotta go deep on Google for this one. This one is entitled Intercession. Intercession 
That's right. He measures 17 by 20 inches. Normally sells for $250. That again is my father's background on this piece. This piece is done in graphite and watercolor or graphite acrylic and multimedia piece. The Smithsonian National American History Museum in color. Nope. The Corcoran. No, not quite. You guys are getting so close, so close. That's right. It's another spot. One more spot missing. You're supposed to get it. All right. Um, I'm gonna give one clue to get you closer to the answer of that piece. And across the museum, no, Mr. Lau, y'all guessing the famous museums in DC, but y'all haven't actually Googled Larry Poncho Brown Museum, or I'm not, I can't say this word because that's gonna give it away. But uh, I got a good little place you can go look. Wikipedia, check it out. Item number 16. Uh, Ms. Johnson, see you, you are actually, um, you, this is, this is true, but this was for a book. So my work wasn't actually in that museum. They featured me in one of their books. All right, so close, not quite, it's one close answer and I think Miss Grant is getting very very close to the answer that's right y'all item number 16 is intercession like that piece just put item number 16 and sold and that piece will be coming your way last of our angel series in this particular size item number 17 that's right y'all this piece is entitled The Night of Stillness. The Night of Stillness. Natural Museum of Natural History, not quite Mr. Ty Scott Jones. Um, I'm, I'm trying to let Miss uh, Carolyn weigh in because she did give me a correct answer. Although that's not in DC, which was part of my clue. The Walters Museum is not in DC, y'all. Trying to help you out there. Item number 17, the Night of Stillness. That's right. It's uh, size of 17 by 20. Normally sells for $250 today on Poncho Thon, number 69. You can have this piece for just $100. That's right, y'all. We are on item number 17. The Hershorn is the correct answer. However, I didn't ask for an abbreviated name. I need the entire name. Uh, Iona Dances is really close to the correct answer. Whoever can type in the full name of the museum will win that piece. That's right. Put your glasses on, babe, because these people are moving fast. They're Googling. They're Googling. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> Miss Ambika Sample has the correct answer. This was the original answer that I was looking for. Thank you so much. The Hirshhorn Museum and Sculpture Garden. That's right. She got it. Thank you so much, Miss Ambika Sample. You are the second winner. Wow, we got a whole bunch of winners today on the show. So we got Iona got one answer right. Uh, Miss Johnson got one answer right. And uh, I'm writing this down so I won't forget. And Miss Sample got one answer right. So that's three freebies that are coming out. Thank you so much. Hey, y'all, give them a big hand for that. Was probably the hardest one I put up so far. Thank you guys for playing along with me, making it a little interesting. Uh, thank you. Congratulations again, Miss Ambika Sample. Item number 17 again The Night of Stillness. It normally sells for $250. Its size is 17 by 20. But today you can get this piece on Poncho Thon number 69 for just $100. Got a lot of people here that are congratulating. We got some folks that's relieved because they couldn't come up with the answer. And we got some folks that's just, and Miss Carolyn, she's just still the undisputed champion of Poncho Thon trivia question. That's right, y'all. Item number 18. That's right, y'all. We are getting to 
two final angels on this whole theme show of angels. Just before we get to our original pieces, this piece right here is entitled The Appointment. <coughs> the Appointment. That's the title of this piece. Now, Lisa Poncho, why is it The Appointment? Because I tried to envision that moment that a, a form becomes an angel. You notice she's rising up. It looks like she doesn't even have a spinal column. The, 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 the wings are unfurling. This title of this piece is The Appointment. Very, very deep piece, very popular piece. If you like this piece, just put item number 18 and sold. And this piece, The Appointment, normally sells for $350. It measures 17 by 22 inches. You can have this piece for $150. That's right, y'all. Item number 18 and sold. And this image right here, entitled The Appointment, will be yours for just $150. Item number 19. That's right, y'all. Item number 19. That's right. Come on, technology. Workforce now. Come on, technology. There you go. Item number 19, y'all, is a piece called Angelic Contemplation. These two pieces were done at the same time. Uh, during a creative quarantine that I did in California with Mr. Charles Bibbs, um, they actually were part of the Angel series that I started before the ones we pre uh, presented a little earlier. They were all pencil on watercolor paper. Very detailed pencil drawing. Item number 19 is Angelic Contemplation. That piece normally sells for three fifty. It is also a 62 edition. Today on Poncho Thun number 69, y'all. We are almost on show number 70. If you like that piece, just put item number 19 and sold. And that piece will be added to your collection. That's right, y'all. Item number 19 and sold. And that piece will be coming your way. Well, y'all, we are at that point of the show where we are get about to present to you some original works. That's right. We always save five or six pieces towards the end of our show that are original pieces. We are also planning to do an original show, probably not this month. I thought I'd be ready for this month, but we're definitely going to do it next month. We're going to be doing it monthly starting next month until the end of the year where I will be presenting upwards of 20 to 25 original pieces per show. No, no, that will not be Pancho Thon. You will be buying originals from my uh, sketches, my drawings, my studies, other rare items, but they will not be discounted like on Pancho Thon. That's the only place you can get these type of prices. And so, well, uh, yeah, we're looking out for it, but here we go. Countdown for the original works. Our first offering, item number 20, is a bamboo plate covered in canvas. That's right, this is a little bit on my abstract side. This is a 12 inch plate, a nice little size. It can be hung either on a wall or on a plate stand. The title of this piece is Fertile Lands. Fertile Lands. It's a nice little abstract piece from my collection. I don't do a lot of abstract pieces. But if you're looking for an original piece that's totally unique that nobody else will have, this might be one of those pieces. So Ms. Grant says she's got to go. Thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate it. Thank you for tuning in. We will be looking for you next time. Thank you for letting, reminding me of where we met and how. Thank you so much. Item number 20, y'all. Fertile Lands, the original. All these pieces are one of a kind. Only ones on planet Earth. If you like this piece, and you want something different from yours truly, 
just put item number 20 and sold. And Fertile Lands normally sells for $375 today. You can buy this original piece for $250, y'all. $250, y'all. What is going on? Are you sleeping? What is happening? That's right, y'all. Item number 20 today on Punchathon number 69. Fertile Lands is selling for $250, normally $375 if you want that piece. Just put item number 20 and sold, and that piece will be coming your way and added to your art collection. Item number 21 is for my sketchbook, y'all. This is kind of what I'm going to be doing on my show. I do a lot of sketches, drawing studies, graphite on my sketchbooks. These pieces are excellent collectible pieces. Imagine, nobody really has much of these pieces or has had a chance to see these. When I go to galleries, sometimes they select some of my more popular pieces, but they never get a chance to really partake in my sketches, studies, and drawing. And personally, I believe those are my most collectible items because they appreciate so quickly. I'm going to be showing a sample of these on Punchathon, future Punchathon, but they'll also be part of our original show, which we will be announcing next month. Item number 21, Lost My Faith is the title. Lost My Faith. This piece measures eight and a half by 12 inches. This drawing sketch would cost $500. Today on Poncho Thun number 69, you can have this drawing, this sketch in your collection, be the only person on planet Earth with this for just $250. That's two originals at $250 on this show. Very, very rare. Hope you're not sleeping. Hope you're paying attention. Item number 21 and sold in that piece lost my faith the drone will be coming your way and added to your collection item number 22 brand new brand new yeah we started advertising this last week i have been um over the last year or so um going back to my roots and doing some wood cuts I actually partnered with jamal barber down in atlanta georgia who has a print shop down there. He assisted me with these pieces. This piece right here is considered an original because the wood block that I carved makes it original print. Each one of those prints is treated like an original. They are called original prints for that reason. Hand done, hand carved. Excellent collectible piece if you're looking for them in mind that you cannot get, that are brand new. This is the newest thing on the show, item number 22. This piece is called Woo, By God's Grace. By God's Grace. It measures 17 by 13 and a half inches. It normally sells for $600. There's only 20 of these in the edition, but each one is considered an original. There you go, y'all. Item number 22 is selling for just $400. That's an introductory price on Punchathon number 69. If you want a wood cut by yours truly, this is it right here. I got three that I've created so far. This is our first time actually making it to Punchathon. If you like this piece, just put item number 22 and sold. And by God's grace, the wood cut will be coming. Item number 23, you know, I have done many, 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 many paint parties. And in some of my paint parties, I introduce these assignments and I end up with a lot of small originals under certain subjects. This is one of those pieces that I found in the garage, in my warehouse. It was one of the assignments I gave from one of my paint parties. It's a little fun piece, it's got a little fall feeling to it. This one's called Fall Fancy. It is a 16 by 20 acrylic piece on canvas panel. Normally would sell for about $500. Today on Poncho Thon number 69, you can get this piece for $250. My lordy, that's right, y'all. We had three originals on the show for $250. I think those are the lowest original prices we probably shown on Poncho Thon. Hopefully y'all not sleeping out there. If so, share with your friends and you have one week to respond to this show, item number 23. If you want to add this original to your collection, because fall is my favorite time of the year, put item number 23 and sold. And this piece, Fall Fancy, will be coming your way and added to your collection. 
item number 24 back to my place this piece right here is a mixed media piece it is acrylic and canvas on bamboo this is a larger plate the, the size is 18 inches these pieces normally sell for around 900 dollars this piece right here is called of the flesh of the flesh item number 24 if you like this piece just put item number 24 and sold and you can have this piece for woo, $450 for Poncho Thon number 69. This piece again is called Up the Flesh. It is a bamboo plate. It can be either hung on the wall or it can be um, displayed on a plate stand. Wonderful, unique, original, like that piece. Just put item number 24 and sold in Of the Flesh. It will be coming your way and added to your collection. Item number 25 and our final item of the day is a ink mixed media piece that I did called In Her Twine. In Her Twine is a play on words. In Her Twined. That's the title of this piece. It's part of my liberation series. This one is done in ink and it's also um, it's got a really interesting mixed media background on it. They kind of add some movement to this piece size of this piece is larger than the other pieces is 22 by 30 inches this is part of a unique series right here this is probably going back in the, about 2018 16 something like that in any event the piece sells for 1800 dollars that's right you're 1800 dollars if you want this piece just put item number 25 in fold and intertwined will be yours for 900 dollars that's right 22 by 30 inches. Uh, these pieces that I've just shown you will never be published. None of them. One of a kind pieces, unpublished works, item number 25, intertwined. If you like that piece, just put item number 25 and sold. Normally sells for $1,800 a day on Punchothon. Mixed media on paper. You can have this piece for $900. Hey, thank you so much, Mr. Law. We will put that on your invoice. Thank you so much. Hey, Miss Carolyn Gray. Hey, I know y'all were going to look around. Item number 20 was a great piece. That's a great vibe. Thank you both of you for participating. Hey, y'all, that's what's up. We got through another menu of 25 pieces for today, y'all. We are going to be getting ready for another show, another menu for next Wednesday. Um, we're going to run straight through May. I don't foresee us not broadcasting at all uh, during May. Uh, we'll be keeping you abreast of all of the things that we have coming up. Uh, thank all of you for participating in my trivia. Uh, we got three winners in one show today. That's right, y'all. That's the way we do it. Uh, so that's pretty much it, y'all. That's our whole collection for today. I want to thank you all for tuning in. I've been enjoying the last few shows. It's nice slowing things down and being able to chit chat with y'all, see what y'all doing out there. Uh, please do me the biggest favor by, uh, hey, spread the word, share, share, share. Uh, for those of you that are new to the show, make sure you send me your email address and your shipping address, and I will take care of your order. If you are chiming in from YouTube and you know who you are, make sure you send us that information to LarryPronchoBrown at gmail.com. And that way I can keep track of your orders. We will be generating invoices this evening. So if you can get us that information, that will help us move things along. Hey, Miss Greg, thank you so much for participating. And thank you for tuning in. And I, look, y'all, a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world today. But I keep telling y'all, keep your head up. Stay positive. If folks are bringing you bad energy, get away from them. Don't surrender your serenity. To these people that's why i showed you the angels today so y'all can get it <laughs> don't let folks uh dim your light hey thank you so much greg thank you for checking in mr blaine thank you so much we will be talking to y'all until next show y'all peace and love i appreciate you and i will see you again that's right y'all next week that's right Hey, thank you so much, Ms. Ambika Sample. Thank you, and congratulations again. Until next week, y'all. Hey, that's right. Nobody has time for it, Mr. Lyle. I appreciate that. All right, y'all. So that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you next time.